up? Welcome back. I missed you guys. It is currently almost 3 p.m. I've been working since probably like nine this morning. I had like a bunch of filming to get done, a bunch of editing to get done, and I just finished. And I was like, wow finished pretty early what do I do for the rest of my day no one was able to hang out I'm literally just like alone everyone in my house is sick so like I just I honestly have no idea what to do with myself I've just been on my phone I feel like I need to give my mind a little bit of a break like I don't want to be staring at a screen we're gonna work on enjoying our alone time I've gotten a lot better with this like I actually do really value my alone time however certain days I'm like damn like I wish Sam wasn't at school I wish my friends were around like you know what I mean we're our own best friend we don't need to rely on other people I don't know we'll just spend the night together to avoid being lonely I definitely want to take like an everything shower tonight and have like a little self-care night so we'll do that I feel like it's a little too early for that like I'll do that in a little bit I did just open up this Amazon package because I ordered myself a new Stanley because my other one was like the bigger one I think it was like the 40 ounce one this is 30 and it was really old it was getting all scratched up and it was also getting scratched on the inside and it was kind of like weirding me out I don't know but I just like really felt like I needed a new one I wanted a little bit of a smaller one to like bring around with me so I got this I also got a different lid attached onto it but I don't think that one came in yet it's like one of those like leak proof lids where you can close it and like it won't leak out but yeah that's an update that i have for you guys i just got a new stanley i want to go like wash it so i can fill it up and use it let's do that <laughs> guys i promise this video isn't gonna be boring we're gonna hang out we're gonna have so much fun okay you have to believe me yay so happy she's amazing i was opening up some pr yesterday actually and look how cute this box i got is from gasu it's so cute first of all it's like this big huge thing look at how cute first of all the huge thing of their hair oil and then their new and improved lip oil then look at this little ceramic little thingy i think it's like for honey because you can like put this little thing like this how sweet is that so cute I'm obsessed. I honestly feel like I've kind of been off my vlogging game recently. Like, I don't know if it's just me being burnt out. Maybe this is like another form of burnt out, but like I want to film and like I'm in the mood to film. But I'm like sitting in front of the camera. I'm like, I have literally nothing to say. Like, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what you guys want to hear from me. And like, I feel like if I were just to sit here and like, just like ramble off my weird thoughts that I have throughout the day, like it would be boring. But maybe it wouldn't be boring. I don't know. I feel like you guys need to give me some video ideas or just like at least let me know like what you like because I just posted a 30 minute video, like a weekly vlog and I wanted to try it out cause I was like, I feel like I always get comments that you guys want my videos to be longer. And I usually like to keep it between like 15 minutes to 20 minutes maybe a little bit more than 20 minutes, but I've never done a 30 minute one. So I'm gonna see how that one does. So far, I, I've been getting some good feedback that you guys like the longer vlogs, but usually I'll like cut out things that I think are like boring. But if you guys don't think that they're boring, I'll just leave them in. Cause you know, I could sit here and ramble all day long. I just like try to think of what would be entertaining or you know fun to watch for you guys you guys need to help a girl out because i feel like i've been overthinking it too much recently and then i just like don't film anything because i'm like i have nothing to say i don't know what i should talk about oh i know i impulsively went to another sabrina carpenter concert like two two days ago yeah um like literally bought the tickets that morning and went the first one i went to i went with a brand and i was in one of like those like boxes which was so much fun this one i really kind of wanted to experience being in the pit like being closer to her especially because i have bad eyesight like so i got the tickets and i went me and becca went together and it was so much fun but however i may change my opinion on being in the pit now because i didn't realize since i'm so short there's tall people in front of me i will not be able to see and that's ultimately ended up happening but i did get to see her for like kind of some glimpses but a lot of it it was really hard for me to see because there was a lot of taller people in front of me nonetheless her concert is just so good and she just puts on such a good performance like i feel like since she was like a theater kid she just did such a good job at making it like an experience and almost like a real like show with like acting and there was like other performers or backup dancers just make it so good too like i just love everything about the show so i really did enjoy seeing it again for a second time it was like such an impulsive thing and i'm happy that we did it but 
I definitely couldn't see as well. Honestly, that's it. I've just been going to the gym, doing work, just relaxing. I've been really enjoying like staying home, doing my thing and having my own routine at home. It's like probably my favorite thing ever, especially after like being at a concert and like all that high energy. I feel like I literally need to recharge for like at least a week and like just be home and not do anything. And that's it. This slick back is actually really hurting my head though. So I'm thinking of taking it out and maybe taking a nice hot shower and washing my hair, doing a nice everything shower. I think that's a plan. This is the best feeling ever. Ow. Although I hate when it rips out your hair. Ugh. Like, why does this have to happen? Oh my God, it's knotted around this hair tie. Like, are you kidding? Come on. I really have been trying to like grow my hair out and I want it to be thicker again. So I'm gonna like do a hair mask, I think, because this is just not okay. And just like that, I'm out of the shower. I was gonna take some cute little clips of me, like aesthetic, getting in the shower, turning on the water, all that stuff. And then I forgot my camera. So I just, just took my shower and I was like, you know what? It's fine. Today, for some reason, I just don't have it in me. Um, and I just want this video to be chill and realistic, you know? I need to like put in my hair care product, do my skincare, all that fun stuff. I'm always switching up the leave-in conditioners that I try just from like, you know, PR, stuff like that. But this one that I've recently been using smells so amazing. Like that's what makes me want to use it more and more. I think it's working good. It just smells so good. That's why I'm like keeping on using it but i just love it it smells so clean oh there's my red can i'm gonna mix some of this because this is like bond healing and it really helps with strengthening my blonde i usually put like a lot and just run that through my whole ends because i'm really really trying to like get my thick hair back every time i see old pictures of myself i'm like oh my god my plan is i like kind of decided this the other day since the last time i got my hair done i asked for less highlights than i usually do because i wanted it to look more like seamless when it grows out so that way i could do this i think what i want to try and do is like for the rest of this year i don't know if i'm gonna be able to actually do it i think so because there's only what like basically two to three more months of 2024 for the rest of 2024 like i'm not gonna dye my hair and i'm gonna grow out my brown hair and just keep growing it <laughs> because i do want to go to like maybe a darker color like not be fully brunette but like have more brown hair and then just like fewer highlights if that makes sense once that's worked through i'm just gonna let it air dry for a little bit i love smelling and feeling so fresh and clean gonna do some skincare i love this ilia face base milk just like a glass of water for your face it reminds me of the rose glazing milk i'll like switch between these two and start by pressing it into my skin and my hands are like freezing so this feels nice oh my god also i've been obsessed with the show tell me lies i finally gave in and started watching it because everyone was commenting on my tiktoks that i look like lucy the main character and i was like okay fine let me watch it and see what this is about um I don't actually think we look alike, to be honest, after watching it, but I got hooked on it regardless, and it's such a good show. I am up to date now. Like, I literally spent the whole week <laughs> watching it on my free time, and I am now up to date. There's a few more episodes that are still left of season two. It comes out, like, every week, which I'm upset about because I like to binge watch shows. I hate waiting weeks for new episodes. That's why I'm also, like, really bored today because, like... That's what I've been doing and now I just have nothing to watch. I'm like, what do I do now? Comment down below if you guys also watch that show. I also feel like since I didn't have like the typical college experience, like I did go to college, but I literally went to like a community college that I just commuted to. I didn't go away. I like never moved out and like did the whole like actual dorming experience. I feel like <laughs> the show kind of like shows really what it's like and like i'm like living through them and i'm honestly happy that i never experienced any of that stuff because it's scary it just seems like a lot but i could also see how it's fun and obviously it's a tv show so it's very dramatized but i feel like they just did a really good job of like showcasing things that happen in the real world when you're in college i think now i'm going to probably lay in bed and try and find something to watch i need some good recommendations i feel like i've watched everything i've done everything that there possibly is to do and also i feel like no one really posts youtube videos anymore like i have a few people that i still watch their youtube videos but every time i try to go on my like explore page of youtube i'm like 
there's nothing even on here to watch so i need some new youtubers to watch too if you guys want to comment that down below it's lonely out here at night i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing like what do we do at night time when we just want to relax like obviously you're gonna watch something i just hate scrolling on tiktok you know anything that's not scrolling on tiktok i will do it because i feel like i don't know about you guys but whenever i start scrolling i literally can't stop and it feels like there's a force that i can't control that's like sucking me into my phone and like i can't look away and it's actually like a pretty scary feeling because when i finally do look away i feel like my brain is mush and like i feel literally like sick i'm like what just happened you know and like i just don't feel good and i just don't think that that could be good for you so i really try to not sit and scroll for too long like i'd rather be watching a tv show or a movie so let me know i'm gonna put some pajamas on though now so i don't have to be in this robe and then we'll get cozy tell me this isn't the best part of the day where you're just like all clean and pajamas laying down finally in bed just gonna watch something i'm gonna light this candle this is the rare beauty one it smells so good this is the one that i like to light at nighttime because it has that like relaxing scent that they have i don't know what it's called but it's like their signature scent i don't know why i'm lighting this candle like this right there next to me and my new little stanley it's like my new character of the day and i like to lay right here while I watch something on the computer. We'll be here until further notice. I'm going to try and find something to watch. I'll check back in with you guys. A couple of hours later, I put on a sweatshirt because I was cold. And I also just French braided my hair like straight down the middle. I haven't done this in so long. Usually I'll do the two braids like pigtails. And that's how I'll do my heatless like curls for the next day. But I was like, I kind of want it to be maybe like bigger and not tiny even though the ends will still be tiny but i don't know we're gonna see how this comes out tomorrow hopefully it looks okay i don't know i just i'm really trying to take care of my hair and like not put heat on it if i don't need to the only thing i'm doing tomorrow is going to a doctor's appointment i actually have a checkup with my plastic surgeon from my surgery i haven't been in like six months i think or maybe even more than six months actually so I just have like a little checkup. It's almost one full year since my surgery, which is actually insane. It's also Breast Cancer Awareness Month right now. So I thought I'd mention that because I just did a little brand deal with G-Shock where I kind of spoke about my surgery on my TikTok if you guys want to go watch that. But it made me really think like, wow, it's almost a year. It'll be a year on January 16th. That's when I got it. Yeah, pretty crazy stuff. Yeah, I don't need my hair to look spectacular for that tomorrow. But on the bright side, I get to see Sam after because he has off on the weekend. So that's like really when we get to hang out. Yeah, that's my plans for tomorrow. But I sprayed in my hair. She's cute. I think I'm going to journal a little bit. And that's pretty much it for tonight. I had a fun chill day, honestly. I really love just recharging and chilling. Especially when I get to do it with you guys. Yay. Yay.